Hey guys, Tim here from Droid Life. Today we're taking a peek at Android 5.0 Lollipop on the brand new HTC made Google Nexus 9. Uh, we've already published our Nexus 9 review, except we wanted to dive a bit more into Lollipop itself and Android 5.0. We've shown you a few of the developer preview builds, but this is full blown Lollipop, the one that you will get and receive if you get an update or if you buy the Nexus 9 itself. So we're just going to take a peek at a few of the animations, a couple of the redone applications, and a few transitions and stuff like that. So the first thing you will notice is that the lock screen has been redone. Um, as you can see, I have two emails, and these, of course, can be dismissed right from the lock screen, or they can be expanded on. So right there, you can just pull down and then also interact with them. Any other app, uh, notifications that you get, say, like a lock, uh, a, a screenshot, so if we snap a screenshot there, then it should pop right up on the lock screen. As you can, then I can interact with that as well. I can share right from the lock screen, or I can just dismiss it with a swipe of the finger. So and just like that, swipe them all away, and I have my lock screen. Of course, on the lock screen, you can access the camera shortcut, which is just a pullout, or you can unlock by uh, pushing up. So there's a lollipop home screen. As you can see, it's got a white Google Now search bar and a white home launch, like a app drawer launch button, which is pretty new. Uh, so with the animations that come with Lollipop, if you press down, it sort of explodes into your app drawer and then you can swipe through and see this nice white background. It's cool because Lollipop brings uh, layers you know, to the operating system. So for example, the app drawer you can see is sitting on top it's kind of floating on top of your home screen it's not completely covering it it's just kind of a pop-up window essentially which is a really nice touch and of course as you can see the uh, app icons for a lot of Google uh, Google suite of apps have been redone for Lollipop which uh, is a really nice touch so let's take a peek at say the updated movies app for Lollipop um, great view on the larger display you can see all of your movies and uh, one of the things that I like with Lollipop when you touch on something you know it kind of has a ripple effect it, you can interact with things and so if I long press on one you can see the shade kind of rolls out from the center or wherever I press from and that's a really nice touch I must say and yeah it looks great um, more more cards for Google uh, Google movies which is really nice as well since this is the Google experience launcher launcher if I swipe to the right I can get right into Google now, which has been optimized for Lollipop as well. Uh, I can swipe away those cards just like on Google now and see all of my other uh, important information. Let's take a peek here at the uh, pull down. So we have more notifications that come in and we have, if you do a double pull down, you can get into system toggles and brightness toggles and system settings like that. And you would get into your main settings by pressing the uh, gear right up here on the right and also tablet profiles is right next to that so you have your system toggles not too new let's pop into the settings menu has a very kind of Google now esque look with the card style uh, as you can see it's got your main device settings personal settings like accounts all that good stuff and then your about tablet and your Android version being lollipop brings up a gorgeous looking lollipop that has a few different colors which is always a lot of fun and then the Android 5.0 Easter egg which happens to be a flappy bird kind of ripoff it's hysterical I think my best is seven which uh, from what I can see on Twitter is pretty good uh, another one I wanted to show you are the an app animations so when you launch or close an app you'll see it slides in from the bottom uh, instead of saying sliding in from the right or the left like it did in KitKat. So if we press home again, it'll slide down right back to your home screen, which is good. Multitasking uh, has been redone for Lollipop. So instead of having little thumbnails for the applications, we have full blown looks at the apps that we can swipe through and navigate, which is a really cool touch to get rid of them you just kind of swipe them to the right. Unfortunately, there's no clear all. Um, you can either swipe or tap on the little X on the right side there, but you can kind of just go in and out of applications really quickly, which is a really great touch. As for the camera, this is the plain Google camera that you would find on Google Play. 
Uh, in addition to that, uh, not too much has changed. I will kind of get back into the profiles real quick, though. Like I said, um, Lollipop offers you the ability to uh, change accounts, but not only on tablets, but for smartphones as well. That was something that was limited to just tablets at the beginning. I, th I believe that launched in uh, jelly or ice cream sandwich on tablets, I want to say. But now it's uh, done on tablets and smartphones, so you can add users. You can add a guest account, and those guest accounts won't have access to all of the uh, all of your important apps or information that you keep on the tablets. So say if you have a kid and want to limit them just to Angry Birds, you know, or Sonic the Hedgehog, then that's completely doable. I wanted to pop into the Play Store for the uh, tablet. As you can see, it is the new uh, Google Play uh, 5.0, uh, which does have the Material Design makeover. Uh, has your pullouts and that really neat uh, arrow animation right there that we all know and love uh, pullout. Um, for anyone who was thinking about picking up the Nexus 9 itself, if you go into the app section and then go into Tablet Spotlight or Tablet 101, you can find a few applications that are specifically made for the larger displays. So if you were having trouble finding uh, applications that were optimized for your tablet, then feel free to give it a look there. Other than that, uh, you know, besides all the animations, the ripple-like effects, you know, the popping in and out, and applications getting huge makeovers, you know, this is a really good update for Android. I think, I mean, personally, I would say it's one of the largest to date, and uh, we we're still learning more about it every day. I mean, we've been really running this full test version for only about 24 hours now. Uh, Google sent out an update. So if you guys have any questions about it or if you think there's anything we can answer um, that you're curious about, you know, please let us know. Uh, we'd be more than happy to answer any questions you have. So until then, we're Droid Life. Peace.